It was around 11.20 that night. I was dragging myself home, exhausted after a tiring night, study sessions at school. But there was no one on the street, which I thought was strange. I usually see a lot of people, even at night, since my apartment complex is pretty big. Anyways, feeling scared, I kept looking down on the ground while walking home. Suddenly, a shadow stretching towards me caught my eyes, although there wasn't anyone around me. I looked up to see who there was, and saw a woman walking in front of me, but she looked a little strange. I could say that she looked crippled. She was limping and struggling to walk in front of me. Since she was walking very slow, I soon caught up with her. Up close, I was able to see her even better. She was wearing dirty pink pajamas and looked as if all of her joints in her body had been twisted. Worse, her hair was a mess and sticking out everywhere. It seemed so weird that I stopped walking. I felt like I shouldn't get any closer to her, but I didn't have the guts to pass her by. You know, people say that if you're really surprised, you can't even scream. That was right. I froze there, not being able to move at all. Where is my baby? My thoughts were racing to her question. Oh my god, I don't even know what I was thinking when I did that. It gives me chills thinking that moment. I answered, pointing as far as I could. I just wanted her to get away from me. Then, she limped towards where I had pointed to. And I couldn't see her anymore. Fearing that I might run into her again, I tried to turn around and leave that apartment complex. I could not think of anything but to get to a place where there would be people around. At that moment... SHE IS NOT HERE! I heard her screaming from far away. <coughs> I don't remember anything from then on. I heard that my neighbor found me passed out on the ground and took me home. In 2007, at an apartment complex in Bonshangdong, Seoul, a 33-year-old woman jumped off the apartment and died on the spot. Known as surname Cho, a divorcee due to her extramarital affair, she had lost custody of her two-year-old daughter and decided to commit suicide. After that incident, Cho was seen walking around that apartment complex several times.